hi welcome back to my channel my name is Kathy if you're new then welcome today I'm showing you uh, I'm doing a haul video and this is from what I bought Saturday so we went to an estate sale and then we went to some yard sales and I also have one piece I'll show that to you now this is something I bought um, last week at the Peddler's Mall I forgot to show this one item this is a bronze uh, sculpture of a rooster or a chicken and they have their it's hard to see but their foot is on a rat <laughs> uh, the bottom is marble it's very very heavy piece it's probably like four or five pounds so that was from there and from the estate sale um, we went it was uh, the last day of the sale and it was 50% off so um, one of the items I got was this rusty crusty tin tin box it is written on somebody wrote on the bottom and it's got a lot of scratches and stuff but it's pretty cool I love those old rusty crusty boxes um, it says Alfred Alfred Tyler Tees London, Ontario. So that's pretty cool. Then I got this um, sundial. <laughs> it's all brass sundial. I thought it was pretty cool. It's got that there. Really neat. I got this these amazing um, this amazing ceramic egg. It was made in China. It has, it comes with this wood base. I don't want to drop it. <laughs> um, I believe it's transferware and then they went over it with like gold paint and gilding, but it's a very well done, just absolutely beautiful. And it is chi uh, signed Chinese or China and in, in Chinese lettering in the bottom. So that's really nice porcelain egg. Then I have these dolls. These uh, little porcelain heads. Um, I got this and I also got two bags and boxes of these little porcelain heads. There's three different styles. There's this one. These don't have boxes for this one. They're made in Taiwan this one and uh oh oh well, I might have put the other one away well one is similar to this one she's got her hair in a bun but it's I don't feel like taking it out of the box what happened was I was filming and for some reason my camera shut off in the middle so I'm doing this again <laughs> um, but this one also has little little boots and little arms so um, I'll probably keep some of these and then I'll sell some in lots. I think I'll do maybe lots of three of those. And then I got this um, hand on a mist. I do collect these. I don't have this particular one. I do have milk glass, but not this one. Um, this one does have a little chip in the back and I knew that when I bought her, but since I'm keeping her, I thought it was okay. Uh, she does have the ring of fire around her really nice. I don't know who makes her. I don't have this one, but um, just a sweet little piece. We'll go with my other collection. And then I got this little uh, Christmas scene, little house. And then you turn it around and you can see the inside. The Christmas tree is so sweet. This I think I'm going to keep for my own collection also. So. Um, I also got these old books. Um, they're in really bad condition, but um, I really like the covers, and I think you can display them, display the cover alone. Look at this one, how sweet that is. These are from probably, I would say the early 1900s or maybe even the late 1800s, but they're very fragile. Um, I don't know the date because the, the copyright pages are missing on this. Um, the other one is Christmas cheer and again there's 
the copyright page is missing. Um, this has uh, has the night before Christmas, and it also has, which is weird, I think. <laughs> Let me see if I can go. Uh, Rumble Still Skin is in the very back of the book. Oh, it's kind of dusty, so I gotta be careful. Old and dusty. Um, okay, that's for those. And then I got this uh, scrapbook. These fell out of the scrapbook when I was showing them the first time. And even this little Valentine fell out. But it has a lot of the clippings. Um, I'm thinking from magazines. And it looks like a lot of this is from the 40s, the early 40s. And this shop full of uh, clippings. I'll just go through a few. Um, so there's some of these. This is my favorite, Marie Antoinette. That's my favorite, I think, out of all of them. And it's it's just a variety. Some of them are um, black and white pictures. Oof, something fell out. There's um, pictures of animals, horses, goats, food, um, interiors, um, flowers. <laughs> It's just a big, big mixture. Um, some of these have been cut out and not put in yet of the food. Um, there was one here of Amelia Earhart. Let me see if I find it again. Uh, I said it, these pages are kind of fragile. Oh, I don't see it. Ooh, there's even, oh, those are bugs. Bugs and sea creatures. It's just quite interesting. Um, cars. <laughs> More, it just a lot of a lot of old pictures. They're pretty cool. Not sure yet what I'll do with that, but I want to look through it thoroughly and and check it out. It's quite interesting. Okay, um, I'm gonna stop this. Oh, and then I also got this locket. I don't think this is very old. Pretty sure, I don't think it is. But it's really nice. So I picked that up. I like the lady on there, it's very pretty. I think I showed, okay, so that's, oh, and then I picked these up. Just for nostalgia, these remind me of my childhood. I think my mother used these uh, for her cocktail and little hors d'oeuvres when they had their cocktail parties or their friends over. So, I don't think it's super old. It says 59 cents, but it does have a barcode. It could be from the, the 80s, possibly. So, I'm going to stop this and then I'm going to get some more items. I'm having trouble with my camera keeps shutting off on me. I don't know why. So, hopefully this records. Um, this item I'm going <laughs> to... Oh my gosh, hopefully I can show it. This is a beautiful cuvette set or condiment set. I'm going to try to hold it up without dropping it. Oh my gosh, it's very heavy and it's beautiful. Now, it does spin around. Um, you're not going to be able to see it because I can't hold it up and spin it. <laughs> um, it has three of these type of little... I guess for oil and vinegar and such. Beautiful, beautiful pieces. Um, it has a salt and pepper shaker, so there's two of these. I hope you can see that. And then it has one, I believe it's sugar, but I'm not really sure. One of these little tops that comes up. It looks like there might have been a spoon in there at one time. So it's a beautiful piece. Um, it's, I believe it's uh, silver plated and I believe it to be eight, uh, antique, <laughs> antique. And I will put the name down below. I can't do that now because I'd have to tip it over. So I'm gonna have to empty it and then I'll tell you what it says um, as far as the maker goes. So I had one like this before that I sold that had um, the amber diamond point pieces in there 
this was all etched glass or it could be, it might be um, crystal, but I'm not really sure if that's crystal or, um, I don't know. It could be glass. It's heavy, very heavy. So that was beautiful. Um, I almost didn't get it because they wanted quite a bit for it. Uh, it was half day since it was the last day of the estate sale. And uh, as I was getting ready to check out, my husband said, aren't you going to get that condiment set? I said, well, I don't know. Even half price is kind of high. And so she did go down a smidge. So um, Then we went to some yard sales. So I got a doily, beautiful lace doily. that I love these. I pick them up all the time. Because I use a lot of these in my own personal display. So I don't know. Those might be for my own stash. Um, I picked up this little silver tone uh, little jewelry box. I love these. It's a small one. Good for rings and earrings and just, you know, small amount of jewelry because it's very thin. And this one is very old. I think this is uh, Art Nouveau. Um, and I believe it could be silver plated. There is a marking on the bottom. I'll see if I could... I don't know if you could see that. It's in rough condition inside. I may take the whole inside out because it's really deteriorated. Uh, this could probably be polished up. I like the patina on it. Let me see if I can read what it says. Uh, there's a number, it says 150-2. I don't see... I don't see any other name on there, but it's in pretty, except for the inside, it's in really good condition. And then I also got this little plate. It has a mother and her two children. It's beautiful. It reminds me of something I had before that I might have sold, but I just love that. So pretty. Okay, I'm going to stop this. I'm going to bring some more items over. Okay, I just have a few more items. Uh, I picked up these uh, brass little pitchers, I guess. I thought they were kind of cool, different sizes. Uh, I believe they were made in India. Let's see. Yep, made in India. This, I just thought she was cute. <laughs> um, it says, Queen Bitch. <laughs> and she's a shelf sitter. She just sits. I mean, she's new. Uh, she was made in, I think she was made in China. Oh, she's Silvestry. Uh, handcrafted for Silvestry. Oh, that's a good brand. By Joey Inc. I don't know if you've seen those. They have little... Um, ornaments like they have little witches kitchen witches and little chefs that hang up i have some of those i didn't realize she was the same company but isn't she adorable so cute i had to get her <laughs> um i got this little fish another one made in mexico it's all hand painted i don't think there's a signature i'm trying to think of it if it said mexico on it no, I don't see any kind of signature. It's a cute little painted fish, a little small one. Um, and then I got this cute little stuffed dog. He's really heavy, very heavy. Perfect for um, the 4th of July or you know any holiday or just any time. He's kind of Americana. Very cute little puppy dog. And at that same place, I got some doll clothes. So these are for some of my little, my little dolls. <laughs> these are they're actually Build-A-Bear clothes. Did you see there's a little hole for the tail? But um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if they fit some of my, you know, random dolls that I have. Look at these little overalls, so cute. And then a little dress, probably for one of my cuties. I have a lot of, a lot of cuties now. So that. 
I have one more item and then we'll be done. Okay, my last item is this awesome cookie jar. I don't know a lot about them. Now, first of all, I'll let you know it has been repaired. Not the best repair job either. Um, but he was a piece was actually broken here and somebody probably tried to do like D does but they didn't do as good a job as D and um, they repaired the, the hat so I'm gonna hold them up without the hat they did put the original broken pieces inside <laughs> but look at how cute he is it does no markings on the bottom um, there is crazing on the bottom. Now, uh, Roseville did make one, but they clearly marked Roseville. Um, and there was another company, I can't remember the name, that also made these little piggy cookie jars, little sheriff. Uh, let's put his hat on. Isn't he adorable? I just love him. And yeah, you know, they still sell for like 40 bucks. Even I see some without the hat and um, with no hat at all. But, so he, just, he does have his hat, it's just been repaired. Um, you can flip this to the back and you won't even notice. So cute. So that was everything. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I do sales every Thursday at 4.30 Eastern Time. And I also do a sale on Sunday nights with the Chatty Cathy's, uh, with Kitchy Cat, Kathy, Kitchy Cat, and it's called the Chatty Cathy's. Um, this week's guest is gonna be Leanne from Vintage, or Crafty Vintage, oh my gosh, wait a minute. I always get this wrong. I should write this down. Crafty kitty vintage <laughs> and then tomorrow I'm having Aaron Proctor on my my live sale on Thursday so I hope to see you all there um, yeah until next time I'll see you in my next video